Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. It's Brooke and Danielle. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. The sun is out in New York City today. I see blue it skies. Is. It's It really is such a boost of serotonin. Did you see I shared a tweet that the sun is yes. going to... Thank God. The sun is going to start setting at 7 o'clock next week. That's um, huge for the I program. Know, I know. I read it as today. I thought it was today when I first read it. I was oh. like, oh. And then I like, had to look back. But that really just the longer days... And you just like see everyone in New York City start to thaw out. Like everyone's yes. just happier. People are starting to walk along the West Side Highway mm-hmm. again. Like things are just starting to happen. And that's like the best feeling. People are coming out of their hibernation. Yes. I was out and about in NoHo yesterday at like two o'clock. And normally like Sunday at two o'clock. Well, of course, like in this warm weather. Yes. yes. But in the winter, it's pretty yeah, pretty desolate. People except are for the brunch crowd. Watching movies. Yes. They're isolating. They are. Mm-hmm. But today or yesterday, it, the streets were full of people i know 50 degrees it was so nice out the sun was out uh-huh. like it was so beautiful i actually i haven't done a proper like sunday proper, proper sound like you i haven't done a proper sunday brunch where i like actually get dressed up and like drink mm. a mimosa we went to felix and soho yeah how was that so funny I f- it felt very european because they have these tables outside yeah. the windows open and it was just everyone was just so happy and a good mood because the sun yes. was out was it like a party bi- vibe or like yeah it, it kind of was apparently at night on sunday nights felix gets mm. lit because we actually walked past it again last night and everyone was standing up they moved the tables out oh so, wow but it was definitely like a party vibe Fun like bottomless brunch. Did yeah. they do bottomless brunch? I don't know if they did bottomless. Yeah. It's like really good food though. Like oh, really good really? French food. I got a croque madame. Oh, I know. It you. was literally fire. That's my little shout out of the day, Felix. And you went to Danielle's friends in town. So you went to like, yes. you, you get to go. I feel like you try all these new places it's when your friends so are in fun. town. You well, to- ever since I think it was you or just a lot of people in my life have been calling me out because I'm like a creature of habit. And I'm like, it's so true. Like I go to the same places i'm like i want to see the show three times like so i've been trying to like be a little uh-huh. better but beauty in essex <laughs> is such an entertaining mm. spot so we took them there delaney and i have like friends from college and time we went there friday saturday night Fun. did you order enough food i find that sometimes like if yeah. you're like we'll just get two things i'm like this is like oh, a no. light bite like you need no. to you know order. me i'm yeah, like we yeah, gotta yeah. be fed girls we're yeah. drinking yes no i think we got five things and it was perfect the grilled cheese bites and the tomato soup oh so good yeah. oh, they're so good and that vibe was so great um where else did we go oh, we did you go out Amo. after i actually went to all places i've been before <laughs> except for felix <laughs> well felix at least new. you know you like them. yeah we went out we went to kind regards i forget how fun oh it yeah is. it's a fun bar oh my gosh we shouldn't yes. have left we left to go to red lion because ryan and some friends were there and madeline and isabella love like cover bands and stuff uh-huh. like that so, so you guys are gonna love it but the band was just like not at that night oh. so we wish we had stayed at kind regards because it was like 2010 hip-hop hits and we were vibing yeah, but you know, that's the thing about leaving a bar. You never know if the next one's... It's like a gamble. Like, you yeah. never know is if is, like, if it's going to be... Yeah. It's so much stress. Like, and it's always like, okay, we got to go see this person, that person, you know? So, but it was a really lovely week. I went to Comedy Cellar last night and laughed my bootay off. I love that. So, a little laughter. Yeah. Wow. You, you did a whole St. Patrick's Day thing on Saturday. I did. I went to Hoboken, which I love. I feel like I make a few trips out there a year. Um, <laughs> my friend Jesse lives there. And it's just... It's really a nice break from the city. It's like similar but different. You've been, right? No. Yeah. Oh, you've never been? No. Oh, oh. Sorry, no. I, do you, I thought you know. Do you know? I have interest. There? I know people that. Oh, there, yeah. Maybe never, that's what it was. Never made um, it over there. It's the bar. It, they have a really big bar scene. It's really fun. But we didn't go bar hopping. We just went to one called McSwiggins, and the music was great, and it was oh. just fun vibes all around. And but we like pre gamed, I guess. They celebrate St. Patrick's Day for some reason two, two weeks, weeks early. early. Yeah, I know. Did you wear green? Uh, my jacket had a little green. Oh, nice. I nice. did like one of those things. I don't yeah. really own green. I'm no, not, yeah. I don't really have green. Gr- green. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, no. green either. I'm like, no, I actually do have a lot of green. You, I feel like you like green. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't really own a lot. And I was like, eh, I could go buy a shirt. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. No. I'm in my like, I'm not going to buy, well, <laughs> I say that. <laughs> Except for like dresses and stuff. But like, you know, if it was like, oh, I'm going to go buy a green shirt. Like last year, I literally did that. I remember yeah. from St. Patrick's Day. I don't know where that shirt is now. I feel like I might have given it, like lent it to a friend or something. Right. Now it's gone. And I was like, no, you know, I'll just wear this jacket with a hint of green. But then I got like accessories when I was there, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Cause Happy people started throwing beards. 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 <laughs> beards. I am not okay. Everyone was doing like the tattoos. I was like, I can't do I can't commit to that. Kiss but- me. I'm Irish. <laughs> <laughs> like not Irish, yeah. <laughs> like, so um, funny. it was cute. So I'm excited for St. Patrick's Day in the city two weeks from now. Are you yeah. here for St. Patrick's Day? I am. Yeah, so that'll be, be a fun green. celebration. I'm a pincher. Yeah, I know you said this last year. Yeah, I am Irish. My last name's Irish. Yeah, so you're Irish. To- so I'm I'm pinching people left and right. 
Um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing for St. Patrick's Day, but it's on a Friday night this year. Cause I remember last year, I think it was the Thursday. Yeah, it mm-hmm. was Thursday. We went to, uh, some like Kelly's pub or something. Oh East yeah. Village. yeah. It was fun. St. Patrick's yeah. Day is fun. If you like do it up, do it up and you want to do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. If you're a beer girl. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, not. I can't even think about next weekend. Well, even though I'll plan things out three weeks in a row. But I know, I, but I know what you mean. Like in terms of that, you're not going to like organize the like, first we go to this bar, then we go to this bar. Yeah. And, like I'll let someone else take the lead on that. No, I yeah. feel like we're just going to, I'm just such a cool chill girl. Probably just yeah. going like, to go to a pub or something, you know, like, or I feel like sports. a beer garden would be fun. There's some beer garden. Oh, yes. Lorelei beer. Garden. Uh-huh. So fun. I want to check it out. Yeah. You would like it. I don't know. It's a I'll fun vibe. You. I know. I, lo- I like Are you going to go to Brooklyn order. for... Or you don't know either, probably. Um, I have no idea. But I do want to do something to celebrate it. I, I, I feel like Manhattan's the place to do it. Like, yeah. Well, but there are a lot of beer garden, beer halls and stuff in Brooklyn, yes. though, which are, like, that's, fun. That's definitely fun. And maybe if, yeah. it's on a, maybe if it's, like, a nice day. Well, I guess you'd probably celebrate in the evening because it's on a Friday. Don't mind us I just know. planning our lives yeah. right now, guys. I think we're recording on that day. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are recording yeah, that morning. Yeah. 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 So we uh, we can't start the day drinking it. <laughs> yeah, no. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, Actually, on that note, this week's episode is going to be... Because we keep referring to little oh, things yes, and I'm like, Ooh, yes, yes. we're going to be doing an episode all about things that we're too old for. Just we're over it. We're done with it. We kind of hinted at it a little bit. And if you were up, up, uh, <laughs> <laughs> why are words hard today, uh, bro? That's OK. It's all right. You had a You've had a weekend. So maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah. Brain fog. I don't know what's happening. Um, But we both came up with a list of things that we are way too old for. And we're just over it. And we're going to be it's kind of inspired by the TikTok trend recently. Mm-hmm. So that'll be later in this episode. But thought we'd give you guys if you didn't see the title you know yeah and we're only 25 and 24 so before you come for us and you're like you guys are not too old it's more or less like life lessons like i feel like that's yeah. kind of like the thing it's yeah not like as you mature yeah things that i yes. just feel like i don't have to deal with anymore at this age or yes. i don't wish to deal with yeah and if you can recognize these things at 18 and you feel that way like more power to you yeah if anything take our advice you yeah know? but also like you have to go through your life experiences to know that exactly. you know you're too old that you don't want it and yeah brooke that's a really good um mentioned because yes. you know everyone's different I like know. there might be some things you say and i'm like oh i still love doing that yeah. you know so i'm excited to hear yours yeah i did some research on tiktok and i watched some from women who were like in their 30s and 40s and like you know i was like oh well, you know can't relate to these yet or whatever it was oh, like, okay you know, yeah and, yeah there were some i saw and i was like oh interesting yeah but i feel different like that's life with life paths. experiences mm-hmm. you gain so this is just from brooke and danielle's yes. experience. yeah so it should be fun because i know a lot of you guys are around our age so maybe we'll yeah. relate a little bit hopefully yeah. we're relatable quirky girl <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> should we get into our fave and wreck of the week yeah sure. do it what's your what are you just obsessing over right now Brooke Michio so I let TikTok influence me sometimes and they definitely influenced me to get the tree hut body scrub but I get the hype now okay it's really good it's actually America's number one body scrub and the creators of America's number one body scrub tree hut have just released new hydrating gel washes these have a skin quenching lather with a long lasting scent all of the washes are formulated with a hydrating oil complex so this is going to plump your skin they have like avocado avocado, kiwi, and orange oils. They're great for clearing your skin of dirt, oil, and grime, but still balancing that skin microbiome. And all of these washes have a matching scrub, so you can try that amazing tree hut scrub if you haven't already. I feel like many of you guys probably have. It's made with real sugar, shea butter, and a special six oil blend that leaves skin smooth and hydrated. Complete your shower routine with tree hut. These winter months, you guys are probably dry and a little crusty, just like I am. I love doing the full, giving myself that pamper, hot, shower doing my scrub coming out moisturizing and it is just oh my god you just feel so freaking good and you could shop tree hut at ulta target walmart online and in store or you could check out treehutshay.com slash podcast for more details today um my my favorite we'll start with Mm -hmm. that lululemon everything right now because i'm in my workout era i am and you know i try a lot of brands for like workout clothes i and like there was that period of time where people were like Lululemon is chuggy. I could not disagree more. Like it's such no, a it's classic workout brand. <laughs> I know, right? And they make such high quality stuff. They have such a good like warranty. I feel like on the items, you know, yes. like, if you don't love it, like we will make it right. They have so many like amazing, like just they have a cult following and everything for a reason. Like people yep. love it for a reason. Um, I love the leggings. I love everything. But I would will say the one thing, not really a workout item. I know you've talked about this before, is mm-hmm. the belt bag. 
Um, yes. The Lululemon Ugh. like little belt bag, it, it can convert from a fanny pack to like a little crossbody. You can kind of do everything with it. I think I was shopping with you when I got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before, we were in meat packing. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I've seen a lot of people with this and I need to understand what all the hype is about. I got a Sherpa one, which I do really like. It's, I guess it kind oh, of. Oh, did you get another one? Is that what no, you're saying? No, oh. it's black Sherpa, like yeah, the one yeah. that I have. Um, but I just am finding myself reaching for it a lot. And I thought it would just be in like sporty instances or whatever. I don't Sport know. Like, mode, bro. Like, yeah. When I'm like, I'm skiing and stuff. But no, like if I just want to go for a stroll in the city, it's like so easy to just throw on. It can fit everything. Your mm-hmm. lip balm, hand sanitizer, AirPods. It's so nice yes. being hands free. Yeah. Like, it's the sport best. Mode. Sport it really mode. is. Put on that thing. I love going on Westside Highway and seeing all the girls in sport mode with their <laughs> fanny their packs. Fanny pack. I'm like, these girls mean business. They do. I've seen people with like a t- collection of them. Um, and I get it now. You know, like I feel like I used to see them like this doesn't make any sense. But they're really just, it's a practical bag to have. And I feel like you could dress it up, dress it down. Like if I were, maybe not this sharp one that I have, but I kind of want to get just like a neutral one for like concerts and stuff this summer. Like I yeah. think that's, it's so practical. You get like a white or like a tan uh-huh. one to like wear with outfits. I think that would look really cute. Thanks. I yeah. love this. I love this journey yes, for you. We can um, walk together in our things. Yes. Music yes. festival it up. Oh yeah. It's perfect for all of those things. I know. It's festival season. It is about to be, I guess, more so. Well, I love that for you. Uh, yeah. What are you loving right now? Um, I'm not wearing it right now. And I literally, when I was getting dressed this morning, I was like, I could wear it, but it didn't, it wasn't the vibe it with this outfit. The vibe. It's this ring by the brand Senia, S-E-N-I-A. I've like seen a lot about okay. them. I think like Lauren Wolf has posted them, some other influencers, whatever. Fully bought it. It's, I'm trying to get back into jewelry. I always wear earrings and like a necklace, but I used to be a ring girl and I haven't been in a minute. Mm. So I want to like bring that back. Um, so it's a double finger ring. So it's a pointer finger and on your ring finger and it has a chain connecting the two oh. and it's two tone. So it's gold and silver. So it kind of goes with like everything. If I'm wearing like a leather jacket and it's been such a lovely piece because I'll be like talking with my hands and someone's like, Oh, I love your rings. I don't know. I just, yes. you forget that people actually notice what's on your hands uh-huh. and I get really happy when I look down at my hand and it's just like a fun accessory. So that's great. Yeah. It's like an online brand. Yeah. It was like not cheap. It was like two. I think it was like two hundred dollars. So it's oh, like wow. a piece. Okay. But like, if Less. you're looking for like, it's a. They look so good on. Truly, wow. that's so. very cool. I'm picturing why am I picturing like <laughs> back in the day, the like d- the two the rings, but they almost looked like like brass knuckles. Like because they I were used like to have those. Oh my gosh! About. Yes, the um, I would get them from like Claire's, like the yes. owls, the double. No, not that. Or like it's Forever like Twenty One. Yeah, and it was like thick, like yes. a thing attached. Like you couldn't move your fingers. Like yes. they were like attached together. Like. I tried back when you know we tried to do our DIY stuff. I remember I went to Michael's and I bought like little symbols and I tried to hot glue like rings uh-huh. onto them and it just didn't work very it didn't well. Work yeah yeah sometimes it's just other to buy people it and it's it. completed form yeah i know and i was like trying to do a tutorial too you know like and it's like, <laughs> like i can't guys, even this do is it. how you make the easiest ring yeah. like you know you're, just like, gotta leave it to the diyers i just never made it there so but yeah i'm just remembering how much i love jewelry and rings and everything like that's I'm great different rings today it's so fun to be like oh what rings do i want to put on i don't know because i've been noticing it on other people mm. like when we had kelly on the podcast and yeah. she had those rings on i was like oh, that's so fun mm-hmm. so that's my journey I love that. Thank you. Big ring girl. Big ring girl. Oh, also I had on there as well. This is like such a niche thing. I like, do you know all your ring sizes? No, not at all. Yeah. I always guess, which is really bad. And then I'm like, uh-huh. it's going to fit on one finger. I know Especially it's around it's there. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. But I got a ring sizer from Amazon. Two dollars. Mm. It's like, looks like a zip tie and you just move it and on it has the number. So like once it fits your finger, it'll say what number ring you are, oh. like what size. So I measured all of my fingers. So and I wrote up my notes. Smart. Yeah. So or you could you also that. like go to a jeweler and they will happily measure your ring size for yes, you. I'm, I'm sure. just instant. I need to know yeah, in that like, moment. I need to know it was like delivery tomorrow. So I did it. And then I ordered I ordered some rings from Orium as well. Like oh. ring era. Ooh. Yeah. I'm excited to see you all blinged out. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I walk in next yeah, week with all my ice like, on my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Thick rings. Oh, I'm yeah. excited to see this for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So supportive. Yeah. I actually don't know what... I have a Aura ring sizer, but I'm not sure if that's the same... Like, if that's standard oh. ring sizes or Aura ring size. Because oh. I have that over there. I, it's, like, in a box. Hello, but it's, like, you. it's like little bands. I kept it. Because I was, like, maybe if any of my friends get, you know, yeah. I like get rid of it. Um, But... I don't know if it's standard ring sizing. Yeah, I, I wonder. Know. Yeah. It like, was. is it five, six, seven, eight? Like those numbers? It is. This is, I think it's a six, but I'm not sure if that's, like, I wasn't sure if it was. With the sensor and stuff. Like yeah. Like, for, if it was yeah. like the auras, rings, you know. I know. I don't yeah. know. So, 
I don't know. That's exciting though. But yeah, that is. I actually don't know. You're so right. Like I feel like I'll get something and I'm like that'll be perfect for my pointer finger and then like only fits the ring. I'm yeah, like, and, right. and that's why I haven't been wearing uh-huh. rings because I'm like I don't know, but let's change that. I just it's so crazy. If you ever think of something you want, you just search it on Amazon and they just have it. I know. Like, oh, I could use a ring sizer. I didn't know it existed. I, all I've ever seen is like a printout thing. You have to print yes. and cut. And I just, I don't have a printer. Yeah, DIY. DIY. It's not it for us. No can kind. do. Like, someone was at my apartment earlier and she was like, do you have like a post-it or tape? I had neither. I was like, <laughs> what is happening? So, no office supplies. Like, we don't have a home I was office. so yeah, embarrassed. Yeah. I was like, I have a piece of paper, but I have nothing to stick it on. Yeah. Anyways, what's your what's your recommendation no, for this week? Um, my recommendation for this week is, oh, I would say Outer Banks, but I haven't finished enough to see, decide if I recommend it or not. Have you started watching it yet? Only the first episode. And it's I saw your Instagram story. It's a lot of running. It's so much. I'm like, the first season was so good. I Because that was actually, it wasn't like realistic, but it was like, mm-hmm. okay, like now at this point, it's like, how are they even alive? No. It makes no sense. It's like, crazy. Yeah, I know. And, and now they've survived so many like obscure things at this no, point. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's just it of gets course. to be like. And I know people are like, you have to let go of the the, the impossibilities when you watch TV. Well, of course, I can't. I can't with stuff like this. Like I'm like. Con- Guys, we've gotten a little too ridiculous, yeah. you know? I, like, will let go of it if I, like, like the story. But so far in the first... I'm only in the first episode. Like, yeah. There was just giving... And knowing that Madeline Klein and Chase Stokes aren't together in person sucks. I know. It just, it's definitely... I feel like they need to write into the storyline that, like, they break up or something. Because it's just, like... They, they just they have don't to. have that chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I know. But... Maybe it's just because we know. But yeah. Actually, it's definitely because we know. Okay, my record of the week is uh, a TikToker. Her name is Cat Gold. You've probably seen her before. She does like styling of pieces. Oh, I think you've maybe you've seen her. She's ve- pretty popular, and so it will be like, um, you know, denim mini skirts are coming back. Like nine ways to style it, like stuff like that. Oh my gosh, she's cool. Yeah, That's I cool. love that. I'm trying to. I say I'm trying to elevate my style. I'm in like a cardigan. Well, we we dress comfortable here yeah, on the couch. Yeah, we dress comfy, but it's very yeah, helpful cool. for. Things like that. And she gives like instances of like what you'd wear it to. Some of them are like extreme, but she's cute and Is fun. this her? Yes. She's yeah. cute. Yeah. So she'd be like, okay, like black simple dress, like here are five ways to wear it, you know, like wear it with like heels like this or boots like this. Oh, she or... does little hairstyles too. Oh, really? I need more hairstyle inspo after we yeah. have mads on. Oh, yeah. What to do with you? I love your it. Hair. I'll give her a follow. Yeah. So I feel Thank like you. if you come up on my free page a few times and you've provided helpful content, you get the follow from Brooke Mencio. That's how for it works sure. for me. Yeah, it's like I want to see more of this. But even sometimes I I forget to go to my following tab on TikTok a lot. Mm. Do you? Or maybe um, not. After you I, always comment on my TikToks. I'm like, she. I, I miss yours sometimes. Um, I, After I post a TikTok, it like dumps me in the following. So oh. does yours not do that? I guess so, maybe. So then I'm kind of in it for a sec and, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See now, here you are. Yes, me reviewing my. I was just about to check it. I was like, wait, did my video ever post? Oh, you know that empties. I used to love empty videos on YouTube, like, because that means that's products that you really liked. Yes, I know. I was just checking that. I've been trying to save them instead of throw them out, and it, I've been forgetting. So some will be like, damn it, I threw out that lotion the other day. I forgot it, or like recycled it or whatever. Yeah. Um. But I've been trying to save the empty bottle so that that's I can talk smart. about it. But like, that's not natural to do to no save not the at empty all container. especially like, like it sucks once you've done a few that week and you're like oh i should have kept those three like yes. that would have been a little group like face wash i'm literally just thinking like right now like i probably got like one or two pumps of the face wash and i'm just like thinking about like replace like getting rid of, like it's just not natural to be like oh this i put this used s- bottle let me save this you know no, it like, makes no sense yeah just content creator things yes i need to tell you guys my friends that are here in town right yeah. now the texts from them are so cute they just got dumplings now they're testing the subway quote unquote they're oh, sending photos so of them in the subway now they're headed to little italy to get cannolis they're just having oh a yum little, they're having so a food cute. tour of new york I love yeah that. it's they're really into food so i was like perfect like you can go off and explore they, i mean they just went on tiktok and found places because i don't get uh-huh. rocks really ever so they were like finding it all i thought that was a funny little update i met a girl this weekend who said that she like just typed into tiktok like inexpensive haircut in new york city like people like use it as a search engine you know it's such a good idea uh uh-huh so you could search best cannolis in nyc or like best yeah cheap eats nyc yeah i know i like need to stop going to google because it doesn't give me what i'm Mm. wanting because it's giving you like dated recommendations and or businesses that pay to have their stuff there i know you're like is this sponsored yeah it feels or we'll get like it's like a 
touristy recommendation tiktok i feel like it's really like the real true finds of no it is it's like user generated content yes (laughs) yes yeah that is really nice well i love that rack i just followed her cat gold thank you all right what's yours my wreck of the week is music and <laughs> what a surprise um brooke and i recently discovered this feature on spotify mm. the ai dj you guys and so some people we found out you don't have it but brooke and i both happen to have it mm-hmm. if you go to your homepage on spotify click top left and click music it'll say like it's in beta so not everyone has it they just put it on random accounts from what i understand but it's so cool. You get DJ X and they obviously take into account your Spotify wrapped and all of the music you ever listen to. They have it all in a database and they create these like mixes for you. So he's like, okay, we're going to start off with something like I think you'll like. And if you don't like that vibe or if you're not, it's kind of like Pandora in a way. If you're not yeah. wanting that vibe, you can click next and then he'll remix it up and <laughs> And he literally sounds like a DJ. Like, it's all AI, and he'll be like, oh, okay, like, let's switch it up a little to some country now. Like, it's so fun. And sometimes when I don't know what music I want to listen to, like this morning I was walking to the gym, and I just didn't know what I wanted to listen uh-huh. to. So I put on DJ X, and he gave me what I needed. I didn't know wow. I needed Fetty Wap this morning. Oh, wow. But a I throwback. did. And yeah. a little, do you remember the song Caroline? Yeah, of course. Yes. I used to listen to that all the time, and, like, I guess Spotify knows that, so he threw that in. Like, it's just, it's so fun. It got you going. It yeah. got me where I needed to be. So if you're I ever, like... That in a pickle try the dj thing that is great i, I only used it like once and it did play me rap and i was like not in the mood for rap so then i just like x'd out of it but i should have kept going but i was like in an uber you know you know when you have like i do this you have minimal time to like enjoy yes. yeah i'm i'm a, like even if it's a five minute ride I, like i'll try to listen to a song especially if i'm walking into a social situation like i'm like i need this to or w- a workout i'm like this will gas me up yes S- but sometimes i don't have enough time like i have to have my song pre-prepared you have to like, be thinking to about go. it yeah. you're so right it's like such a quick walk and yeah. you're like i need this or like a drive yeah i am turning into you more and more because i've been bringing my airpods with me i don't have it on my keys because yeah. it makes me yeah. nervous but i put them in my purse and like on my way to dinners and stuff it does hype you up for social settings yeah the, okay i'll tell you another instance of why it's helpful to have it on your keys because okay. i was at ben's this morning and i was like looking i was like where's my apartment key like i couldn't find it and then he was like you need to get, you should get an air tag like for your for your keys he's a big air tag guy oh, and yeah. i was like oh wait i have my airpods on my keys you can track your airpods so, so you really saw nice. it was there I, they were in my car like i left them in my car back like it was oh like my, my apartment key and i was because i was like freaking out i was like oh god did i like yeah. maybe like i don't know did they fall out of my jacket or something sure. like and yeah oh my god that's really smart i have a little tile thing in my oh wallet. nice but I never thought about it like that. That's genius. Yeah, so it's multi-purpose. It is multi-purpose. You don't yes. need an air tag. Just buy AirPods. Yeah, except for when they're dead, which is a terrible yeah. experience. Yeah, I would not recommend. But that it means that you have to charge. And it everything. makes that sad noise too. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you're like, oh. Or when it goes to just one ear. Oh. And you're like, I'm just going to try and enjoy this. But I know the other ear is going to go out so yep. soon. And you're trying to vibe to the music so hard. And then it starts playing out loud on your phone. And you're like, I'm so sorry, sir. I was vibing with my headphones. Yeah, yeah. First world problems. Uh, no, but- I know. It is, but it's really convenient. That's why I, I never be without your music. Just always keep your AirPods on your keys. Stay strapped, folks, with your AirPods. Mm-hmm. It's a good it definitely has helped me recently just to get into a hype mood. I've also been listening to a lot of sing along songs, like oh. Spotify, like 2010 in particular. Like, uh, like Dynamite, like, like Tyler yeah, Cruz Dynamite, yeah. like Katy Perry, Hey Soul Sister. Yes. Um, I like that type Bruno of Mars. stuff. Mars. Yeah, those are all like, you know, stuff that like comes out of the bar and you know the words. I love that sort of stuff. It's very empowering when you know the words. Like, I feel like yeah. songs that come out recently, I don't know the words as much. You know, you know yeah. the chorus from TikTok. Uh huh. I don't know. It's a little freaky, actually. There's definitely some that will like that. You, you, yeah. You know. Yeah. There's definitely songs yeah. that we know. Yeah. I think it just depends on the genre, maybe more. Yeah. So. But I do like a 2010. I love 2000s music. That's like some of my favorite. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, my God. Mm. We're aging ourselves. I know. No, I'm kidding. Things I'm too old. You <laughs> know. Well, should we get into things I'm too old for? We both have like pretty extensive lists. So I feel like we should. Get I know. It. Yeah. And I feel like we're probably going to agree with each other and yes. we'll try and yeah, just. Yeah get on through it so these are things that brooke and i personally feel that we are too old for it's not that we don't ever do them but it's like no, things that i'm no. like oh like why am i still doing this you know yes that yeah vibe. Things, things that i prefer not to do yeah that's what yeah it? preferences preferences yeah. it's all about preferences it people. is it is and sometimes you have to be flexible and you have to adapt and like you yes know, do compromise with friends exactly we're not life. like dictators where we're like no no yeah, never like no. you know we're not evil people no. no these are things i've talked about on the podcast before that i'm like i need to stop doing that you know yeah. stuff like that so we're just 
now we'll be able to look at this list and be like, okay, reminder to not do that anymore yeah. to yourself. Yes, very much so. Why don't you kick it off? All right, I'll kick us off. Power up for springtime with Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. You can get nutritious, chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list. So you can look and feel your best in time for this warmer weather. They have calorie smart meals around 550 calories or less if this is something that's important to you. Or if you're too busy to cook with Factor, you could skip that trip to the grocery store, the chopping, prepping, cleaning up everything because factors fresh never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes so all you have to do is heat and enjoy they have a bunch of different meal plans to choose from you could choose from keto vegan and veggie calorie smart protein plus there are amazing options on the menu every week and they're prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians each meal has all the ingredients that you will need to feel satisfied all day long they have 34 of these options every week how cool is that? They also have a bunch of snacks that you could try. So if you want to cut back on takeout, get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but the meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. So you can put that time and money towards activities for when the weather warms up. I got Factor a few weeks ago, and let me tell you, it was a lifesaver. I've been on like a little bit of a health journey, and I, you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna like just order delivery all the time. Sometimes, okay, but like when I really want to be on it, Factor is so great for me because it's so convenient. But I know that I'm still putting actual quality nutritious food into my body so like you know I, I feel good after my workouts and then I'm set up for the next day to you know move my body again like I feel really good when I'm eating factor you can get factor and enjoy clean eating without the hassle and for me clean eating like that means a lot okay like I, it's that's very stressful but with factor you can simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor-packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes no prep no mess love to hear that head to factormeals.com slash gals 50 and use code gals 50 to get 50 percent off your first box that's code gals 50 at factormeals.com slash gals 50 to get 50 percent off your first box um okay this is like a new thing i've realized that i do um stressing about friends hanging out without me i wrote i definitely get jealous sometimes but i've done the same thing and realized it's no big deal it's just right place right time i've noticed because we have margot washer she always talks about how she doesn't like when her friends hang out without her and i'm not like that with everybody but there are certain people that i'm like oh like dang they're together and i'm not there but then i think about it and i'm like I've definitely been with someone and I was like, oh, that person could have been there, but it was more so it was just convenient. They uh -huh. were around the corner. You just yeah. never know. And I know when I'm with that person, our story, but like when I'm seeing other people's things, I don't know like how it came to be. And I'm just like realizing that's just so dumb to overthink things like that. Mm -hmm. Like I feel very secure in all of my friendships. I know where I stand, where we are. So it's like just getting over it. Like it's not anything I act on, but I just get a little like green with envy. Yeah, I got you know? that. So I'm just too to. old for like, yeah worrying about my friends like you know like obviously caring about them but like you know you'll hang out with them when you need to hang out with them I think that's a good one yeah. I, I definitely agree yeah I feel like it's not or if it's really bothering you say something exactly like, like not like letting it not being up. passive I yeah. have said things before I was like oh dang like I kind of wish I was there like you know yeah. if you like yeah that's another yeah. good point yeah I feel like we have it like uh it's talking about like how Margo is like that with like her mm -hmm. friends I guess because I I do see her opinion and I would say like I don't feel that way but at the same time like you and I have separate friends and I think yeah. that that's like if I was like all of a sudden like oh I'm you know like me and uh, Isabella are actually like going to get coffee after this like you'd be like Ugh. like no, right exactly. you'd be like, 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 like random that. like yeah no it is like kind of random but I also am realizing that I just need to like like I just I, I, I don't yeah, know let it's go been, of it like it's not worth stressing over yeah like I mean, I'll do mm -hmm. the little what the heck kind of but yeah, like oh whatever head, there's some like, story oh. there maybe they have a work connection I don't know <laughs> there's always something and you just yeah I'm sick of like overthinking it I think that's fair yeah. yeah there's too much there's too much stuff in life to stress about to stress about stuff like that you know yeah like there's just so many other things I can worry yeah. I'm happy should be happy that they're friends and I, again I'm not a territorial friend like I'm really not I don't know it's a new thing for me I'm just like whoa like that's friend. yeah well, you also were like probably like, oh, I bet they had fun. Like, I wish I was there. You know, like that's yeah. not territorial. That's more so like FOMO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you're allowed so to. That, that was way. a weird way to start no, it. No, <laughs> no, I get it. Okay. Mine a little lighter. Um, <laughs> sleeping and makeup. Now, I know I went through a phase of this like two years ago, but I aged out of it because I'm too old for it now. Yeah, um, that's a good one. Yeah. I never did my whole life either. That was like a weird phase. When I first started dating Ben, I 
just I didn't bring my whole skincare routine over there. I had bad skin at the time and I, my skincare routine was too extensive. So I was like, I don't know how I came to the conclusion. I was like, I'm just not going to take off my makeup. <laughs> that is the worst thing you could do for your skin. It just it's got terrible. even worse. My skin was like literally so, so bad. And it takes not saying that you have to do your full skincare routine. I know there's nights for me that I'm like, I'm literally so tired. I don't want to do Bare this. Minimum. Just use a wipe. At least get your mascara off. You know, like it's so bad to sleep with like eye makeup on. Like it gets into your eyes. Like it's just and then your skin, your pores. Like just try to get it off. That's what I tell myself at least. I'm like, no matter what state you're in, you better take off at least the top layer. You know? Yeah, you have to get into that routine. No, I've I've definitely always been team take it off, except. No, when Ryan and I first started dating, I would definitely... Oh, so you did it too. <laughs> like, probably three times total. Okay. And I felt so yeah. icky because I used to just have, like, really bad acne, so I was triggered, so I really tried not to. I know, but, but if you're sleeping at the frat house, how are you going to, like... No, <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't have, like... I couldn't, like, have yeah. a cabinet there. <laughs> like, put my makeup wipes. I think once I finally... You know those little mini ones? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you throw them in your purse. I brought one when, like, I was more comfortable with him. But I had, like, some pretty... like. I still had a little bit of acne in college. I remember so I was kind of like, oh, like I'll keep it on. Yeah, no, I definitely did it. But only a couple times. Yeah, I I only did it probably like less than five too. It wasn't like. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I know what you mean. Like just bare minimum, at least taking your yes, makeup off. Yes, I know. I'm not even going to sit here and be like, do your routine every night. But even though I try, of course, if I have no excuses, like I'm going to do it. But if yeah. it's like, all right, I'm like so exhausted or like I'm so oh, like. Oh, I definitely I, yeah. just hit a wipe sometimes. Yeah, and it's go not the end of the world. It's better than nothing. So. Or like I'll do the wipe and just splash my face with water. Like no mm -hmm. face wash, just some water. Yeah. I think just caring about your skin is like a thing as you get older because you realize like, you know, you want yeah. to age gracefully. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I know you agree with this one. I am too old for drinking to make other people feel better mm -hmm. i'm so sick of it like i used to do it even living here in new york like you and i would be at an event and we're like okay we'll take the glass of champagne because everyone else is and they're gonna be like why aren't you drinking what? i'm sorry i'm not gonna drink a glass of champagne so you feel better about yourself yeah because i'm realizing <laughs> as i'm aging like alcohol hits me different than when i was you know mm -hmm. 21 or maybe a little younger um i used to be spring chicken the next morning but literally i mean i had three glasses of red wine last night and i'm paying the price today you know yeah. so like but yeah. i wanted those those were ones that i wanted course, i got that third one i was feeling it but i've just been in scenarios where it's like oh everyone's having a drink like i don't want like not that i want people to feel comfortable but people always have something to say like oh what do you have to do something later yeah. i hate that and I'm not going to yeah. just have a drink so they feel better because then I'm going to be hung over later and not feel good later. I, I get it. That's how I think. <sighs> I literally think about it. I'm like, all right, if I'm, but I'm working on tomorrow morning. Like, do I want to feel gross yeah. in my workout? Like, that's that's just getting older. So I try to just do less days a week. So that's like yeah, what I, just yeah. When yeah. you want. Yeah, like, when you if want, you're yeah. feeling the drink, get the drink. Exactly. Exactly. But if you're like, like you said, if you have a workout the next morning, it, then people have a whole thing oh you're working out tomorrow i'm like no i'm actually really trying recently this is a newer thing <laughs> yeah, for me like yeah. i'm on a roll like you know it's like when you're in that role and then yeah yeah you know not it's everyone's like, like this but no 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 not at people all people just get weird about it yeah and they need to stop yeah. getting weird well i think it's a thing like in your i because i i used to be this way too i would be like if you don't drink you're boring like you know you kind of like yeah. equate it with that but once you grow up you'll like people grow out of that phase where you, you're like actually i could have fun without drinking you know? yeah i that's a good yeah. point i'm realizing that's a point i'm having to make though is you know, if I don't drink, then I just make sure that I'm not being pouty about them oh, drinking. Like, you just have to definitely be like, show them you're fun. Yeah. Like, I'm like, here, look, I'm still dancing. And they're like, wait, you're not drunk. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, I, I, I like to dance like to I'm music. I'm drunk on life. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally high on life. Like, I don't know. I think that's one thing that I've learned. Like, you can't be weird about them drinking. Not that I ever have been, but you uh -huh. have to definitely make them feel... Here I am making yeah. them feel comfortable. I know. I know. You but just being comfortable pleasing. with what you're saying. I think that's very good. Um, okay, my next one. I'm too old to. <laughs> it's a new thing. Not wear comfy shoes. Now, yes. Oh my God. Yes. yes. Now I have some uncomfortable pairs of heels, and I'm in the process of getting those cycled out. I'm just realizing that like, it's yeah. not worth it, especially mm -mm. if you know you're gonna be out and about all day. If I know I'm going to a concert or if I'm going like out with my friends all day, traveling, whatever it may be, even if it's just for a few hours, like it's really not worth it for me to be in agony and hurting and that's all that i'm thinking about then it's like it's not worth it it's not worth it like i love the strappy heels and they're so cute but they just are not comfortable mm -hmm. or even some boots like just especially living in new york city too yeah if you know you're on the go yeah, yeah like it's just yeah kind of along the same lines like sometimes i'm like 
oh, should I just wear a blazer even though it's colder outside? Like, no, just wear the jacket over top uh-huh. because you're going to be cold and you don't want to complain and you want, because then you're not enjoying the people around exactly. you, what you're doing. No, yeah, I'm team comfy shoes. I love that yeah. one. I'm the same way with comfortable clothes too. Like if it's like, oh, I know I'll be out all day. Like I could wear this little mini skirt or I could wear these pants that like are a little more comfortable. Like, I'll, you know, I tr- I'm trying to make the better decision. I feel like you're usually pretty good about that with clothes. With like being like, oh, I'll be out all day. Like, yeah, you're like, like yeah, I'm going to be, yeah. I plan- you'll text me yes. like, I plan to be comfortable by the way. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I but I feel like to. shoes is a newer thing for you. It's That's important. Exciting. I'm just realizing, and yeah. I, not that I'm a fan necessarily of like sneakers with everything, because I do think you know it. Oh, heels, it, are, you know, you need yeah, your heel moment. Yeah, of course. But there are comfy heels, Definitely. or not not comfy, but comfy. Or they not that everything has to feel like walking on a cloud, but like no, unfortunately, there's no reason, <laughs> to, there's no reason to be in agony and like physical pain. Agony. Yeah, if you have to get, I've never done this. The feet numbing spray, you should get rid of it. Like that is not good. Yeah, no, have you ever no, heard of that? No, oh my god. Yeah, in college people used to do it. It was like so it's like a spray. It looks like like hairspray and like it's like f- for numbing and it would be like yeah, literally for like to wear. Like, Does it work, I wonder? Yes. Have you tried it? Um, I've never tried it, but I know people that have and it wow. but, because but it like affects your like nerves and stuff. Like yeah. it's not good for you to do that. Not Definitely. Th- I mean, I do plenty of stuff that's not good for me. Yeah, so like, no, I'm, I know. Like, I'm like, it's so bad. Isn't for it you. funny like, what we yeah. like decide? Oh, I would so do that, but not. Yes. Bad. Like, I will drink so much, but I will not eat McDonald's yeah. or like whatever. It's I know, like, I know. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're so funny, humankind. But that's actually really interesting. Um, my mom sometimes, if she, like, if. You know, we've had like red carpets and stuff. Well, even then we ended up having to walk, but like I've worn like some more uncomfortable heels because it's like, okay, I stand for a second for literally a photo and then we sit to watch a movie. But my mom always calls them um, sitting shoes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. like those are sitting shoes. I pack a change if I need, if I really am like, you know, yeah. I know I'll be out all day. I, I You're good bring, about yeah, that. You've I got your tote bag with your yeah. dust bag and all the things. Yep. They're coming. I love it. Um, things I'm too old for. Hosting people constantly in my apartment. I can't help the fact that people come to New York all the time. Brooke and I both like it. It's New York City. Like there's always going to be people. But I it's so funny. I was like reading this list to my friends and I was like, oh, my gosh, oh. This is what's on there. But they're not staying with me. I am just Brooke has truly inspired me. Like you just don't always need to like have people with you. Like we're old enough to be like, hey, like I honestly have like other things. I need. I can't like be doing breakfast, lunch and dinner. Like I want to pop in. I want to see you guys. You guys are my really good friends. But I have to be better about just like not, you know, always allowing people to stay with me because it ruins with my rhythm. And Mm -hmm. especially if they're coming multiple times a year, which I'm so like, I literally love my best friends. We've had the best weekend, but I'm lucky they're staying with Delaney this weekend. So I just get to like, I'm Aunt Danielle, you know, I I come in, we, I take them to dinner and a show. Oh, that's so fun. You're the fun aunt. I'm the fun aunt. I'm like, Hey guys, how was breakfast? Let's go. It's been great. It's it's been, that's so great. It's been so much better for me. Like, and I, again, I got lucky and Delaney's like just moved here. So she's like, yeah, yeah. Come and I did that too. But um, as we get older, maybe being like, maybe could you guys split a hotel? Like, I know that's like terrible to say, but like if they ask me like, hey, like I really don't want to pay for a hotel, we'll talk. But, you know, I think it's also a fun experience when you come to New York to like stay in a hotel or like Airbnb yeah. or hostel or so many options. There are a lot of options. Yeah. I just ha- heard Alicia told me that like someone asked to stay like on their couch this weekend that they like don't know, like a very distant friend or something. Mm, I was yeah. like that. And I get it. Like, you know, you don't have like it's expensive to stay here or whatever. But that is definitely especially if they're not. If they're looking for just a place to crash, like that doesn't feel necessary. Like those are the type of things that you could yeah. protect your peace and be like, actually, I don't really feel comfortable having this like somewhat of a stranger on my couch, you know? No, I know. And that's what I yeah. need to get better about. And I'm, but I'm just realizing I am too old for like yeah. constantly having people over unless it's like, of course, literally of course. your best, you best friend. And like you guys are going to sleep in bed yes. together and you want to like have the yeah. whole thing. Totally. But when you don't want it. Yeah. My mom's coming tomorrow. Like I love having her like, you yeah. know, stuff like oh that. God, That's like amazing. Course. But I think just I know constant. what you mean. Yeah. If it was week after week after week, like, yeah, like in it. college, we still always have people over and like yeah. whatever, but I know game day weekends, but even I, yeah. I did not even like that though. Cause I felt like I was like, okay, there's like people in my living room, you no, know, it was like, a it lot, was, but yeah, we were like okay, younger yeah. then <laughs> we're like, oh, whatever to each his own. Yes. Yeah. You grow but up. But now I realize. think also you and I are very like hosts. So we're like, okay, I want to make sure I have yes. snacks for them and everything. So it's just, even though they don't ask for it. No, we just put not. it on yeah. ourselves and yeah, I'm rambling. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, Okay. This one is I talk about all the time, but reading books I don't like because I always say life is too short to read books you don't like and too old to read books. Why? Because I just read those ones that I didn't like. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Yeah, though. well, because I thought I was the thing is with those I was like, there's got to be something. Coming. Yeah, like everyone, why is everyone like these uh-huh. books? 
if it's straight up if i haven't heard about it if people like and it's boring from the start like i i quit there's i don't quit a lot i would say like less than 10 percent of the books i read i stop i'm not reading. a quitter i'm not a quitter but if it's really not for me it's not for me and it, these aren't like I said required readings. I'm not in any book club or anything. So like a little bit yeah. I'm like, why? It's not worth it to me. Also, it will cause me to get into a reading slump, which will cause me to you know not want to pick up. You're another like not book. motivated. Yeah, because yeah. I forget the excitement of a good book. But now right. I'm like in the back in a good one. I'm not going to talk about it yet because I want to finish it. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. Yeah, you'll definitely be done next week. Meanwhile, I am still reading Meant to Be by Emily Giffen. That's the only thing about a Kindle. My Kindle died, and I keep forgetting to charge it. <laughs> and I go to bed to read, and it's dead. Yeah, I could. Read it on my phone but love me my physical book i know i know i go back and forth um next up small talk i am realizing i just i used to be I, and I, I mean we can both put on the small yeah. talk i do not enjoy it no one enjoys it but i like i would rather just not talk like i would rather I, like you not come up to me and be like the weather like i don't know then i know you know i know i it's very it's getting harder with age i don't know why i feel like i used to just be able to like i would be so annoying like strike up conversations with yeah. strangers all the time and be like this is the giants like you know and yeah now, and now i'm like i do not unless you have something to say that's like meaningful or purposeful like why are we and not saying them not polite i actually smile at a decent amount of strangers oh for street. sure sure not too. that yeah i'm trying to think of a it's scenario more so, i know what you're talking about at like um a work event or something yes. where it's like oh the conversations and it's a work event so of course these are you're normal networking con- whatever you're networking these are normal conversations but it's like oh like what you know like uh so are you busy this week you yeah. know just yeah so, like a like, general sentiment like that where it's like maybe like i would lo- rather yeah. be like oh what do you do like what like tell me about you yeah. like where are you from like maybe yes. like let's get into more i feel like that's what you and i really try to do but if someone else starts the conversation and it's so bland like where do you live oh nice i moved last year like it's always like yeah, the yeah, New yeah. York TikTok I sent you where it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, just wait till March and April it gets a little warmer. Like, know. you know, it's like that whole thing. And again, it's not gonna end because no, that's no. just life. What do you go deep to level a hundred? Like when yeah. you first meet someone. I know, that's the thing. But I'm just realizing that I like I don't know. It makes me sound like such a bitch. I don't know how to work. No, you know tired. what I mean. No, though. it's. Just, I feel the same. I used to not have a problem with it, and now it's making me more and more tired. It's like just I a social like, battery. Yeah, I think exactly. that's what it is. Like, but when we, to clarify, when we meet followers or people that listen, well, we have stuff to talk about. We're so like much. so happy. We want to get to know you. Yeah. But it's just like I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want a small talk. Like when yeah. I'm in line for the grocery oh, store, or when I'm in the elevator. When I'm like, yeah. yeah, like those type of things. I'm like, like, hey, how's oh, it going? I see. Cute baby. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah i don't know i so, but then you know sometimes when you're randomly a good ass mood and you're like, oh my god i love your jacket what floor do you guys live on never talk to I, know, I know i don't know something just changes i know on it's days. very like wishy washy i get that yeah i'm just too old for small talk i'd rather not do it i feel like everyone I would it. agree I gotta plug in those airpods girl <laughs> I know. plug in girl plug in okay um this is a lot of like things i like Blank, I don't like. Like, I'm too old to do blank, I don't yeah. like. Um, workouts, I don't like. There's a caveat to this because I do think you need to try everything once to know if you like it. True. You know? Like, so I could sit here all day long and be like, oh, well, I don't like. Brooke's coming to Pilates yeah. tomorrow, actually. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but I did DM with Kit about SLT because I asked her what type of music they play. And she oh. said that you, like, it's like hip-hop, top 40. Like, oh, yeah. good. So I was like, oh, maybe I would consider that. Yeah. Not not tomorrow, the next, but I'm trying to think even what it is because I could change my mind on anything. But like what comes to mind right now is like running. I, I've never liked to run. I have big boobs. It's fucking uncomfortable. Sorry. Like not for me. I, maybe someday I will, you know. Yeah. But if someone was like, hey, you want to go for a run? I know I don't like that. So do I want to? No. No. I'm allowed I to, agree. you know. <laughs> yeah, no. Like I just, I just know for a fact I yeah. don't wish to do that. Like I'm not training for anything. Like. <laughs> You like other cardios and yeah. said, like, no problem. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Like, just workouts you just don't want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Like, I see some workouts and I'm like, damn, that looks boring. Like, these, Yeah. Yeah. And then some, I'm like, that looks fun and exciting, you know? And to each their own. And I do think you have to try it, though, before you can, like, say, yeah. not for me, because, you know. No, yeah, for sure. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. There's, because there's this, that Tracy Anderson workout everyone's talking uh-huh. about. And it doesn't look boring. It actually looks like hard. And I'm like, oh, like, I just don't know if I want to do it. But I was talking to Audrey and she was like, I actually think you'd really like it because it's like dance. It's just in the hot room. That's why I think. Um, but I've never done a workout in a hot room. So I, was like, I know you mm. always say that, but you love a sauna. So I'm I like, know. I, I do, do love yeah, a sauna. You, I guess I just have this fear that I'm going to like faint. I've never fainted just, in my then life. Then you just sit down. 
Um, yeah, no, that's true. Have you ever done a workout in a hot room? Yes, the Y7. Or no, was that hot? Yeah, that was hot. Um, wow, you just reminded me of that. Sorry. That was like... I know, I was supposed to go Like, I won't I do that. I'm not going to be doing that again. But I will be... Like, I would consider hot yoga again, but I didn't like, like, that flow of it. Like, it was way right, too was quick. Fast, I did not right? know what we were doing. I was like, what? Like, how are we getting... I, th- I might might have accidentally signed up for the wrong one. I don't know. No, yeah. You're so right, though. You do need to try it to see. Exactly. It, I've never tried it. Exactly. So. And some... I would even argue some of them you need to try more than once. Because I remember the first time I went to Soul Cycle, like, I was like, I like it. True. But I... I didn't really get it. And then it took me probably a few times till I really got in, got hooked. But at the same time, life is kind of too short. And like, you know, I, I, oh my God, those things that it's like, you have to like, oh, don't pay $150. Then you'll like it. Like, I don't know if I agree with that. No, always. I know. I, I feel the same way. I mean, with books, like just get yeah. to the second book up. Uh, I don't have time for that. Like, I just don't need to read a whole book. Like, or with shows. I think it's yeah, like, yeah. You got to get past the first, the first season. Yeah. First two seasons of Game of Thrones. No, thanks. I like, know. I just can't do that but some people are willing to so but i'm too old for that (laughs) um next up not doing what's best for me and my health etc kind of goes in line with like the drinking and everything but like sometimes you just like if you know it's like maybe it has to do with mental health or anxiety or physical health and i just know that is like not going to be my jam or you know, I've been in a little bit of a health kick recently. Mm-hmm. And like, obviously when I have friends visit, like they're like, I want to get, you know, all these crazy meals and everything. And I'm like, okay, I, I don't want to make them feel bad. Cause you know, I've definitely been that person. I'm like, Oh, she got a salad. Like, are you kidding me? Like whatever. Vibe killer. Boo. Yeah. Vibe, tomato, I've, definitely, <laughs> I've definitely been like that. I'm like, come on, just eat the bread, like eat the fucking bread. But, um, everyone's on their own journey and has everyone, I'm learning so many people have like different stomach sensitivities now and everything and whatever. So I, and like, sometimes you just want a salad or you want some greens or a different meal than what everyone's getting. And it's okay to like order that and just like own it and be like, and not make a whole thing out of it, no. but like doing what's best for you and your health. Like just cause your friends are visiting doesn't mean you have to get the buffet special, you know, <laughs> like it's just, but yeah. then if you want it, Hey, if I want it and I want the French toast, I'm going to get the French toast. Like Brooke and I are very clear about that. Oh, very, very balanced, so, very. but um, I think I definitely do that sometimes to like adjust, to, you know, I like to adjust my atmosphere, mm-hmm. but also still doing what's good for you. That's great. I think yeah. that's a big one. Yeah, yeah. I feel that on my health journey. I know. Um, okay. This is obvious, obvi- but we were, Danielle and I actually were talking about this, um, dealing with unnecessary opinions and now people are going to be criticism. It's not about like, I'm not even talking about online stuff at all. This is more so like in my personal life. We were talking you know about like when I go shop when we go shopping these days how we I don't know if you I forget if you agreed with me or not I was like I like to go shopping by myself or maybe I agreed with you I agree you did because if you go with friends you're like talking to them and like I'm they're telling me what to get I I know what I want getting their opinions like I like the pink dress more than the purple I'm like but I actually like the purple more and I trust I'm learning to trust my own opinion I'm not going to say more than others by any means but I just trust my own opinion so why am I going to solicit you know all of these Mm -hmm things and not to be like i'm right and you're wrong but more so like at the end of the day you're gonna do what you want yes so like why ask no you're really good about that i'm always asking like what pictures did i post first whatever and then i'm like well i wanted this so like why did i even ask everyone but i, I like know. to see people's opinions no i get it and they definitely vary i've definitely had that with photos where mm-hmm. they're like oh you should post like the one that you put forth first i'm like you know what i felt most confident in the first one or like yeah. i thought that the first one was like a cool shot whatever like whatever my reasoning is and you know what it's your life so you could do that and yeah. that's definitely a, as I get older thing I'm like you know I don't and the, I'm sure that uh, now people are gonna be like but you ask for our opinions and vlogs and stuff like there are some things that I definitely want opinions yeah, on if you ask you want the yes. opinion but if I'm like hey I'm going shopping I need to get a new pair of pants like for me going with a bunch of people and getting everybody's opinion like which pair of pants looks the best on me like that is more stressful than just me going and shopping and buying a pair of pants no it is so true because everyone has different opinions like even like for the live show stuff we're all getting dressed and i'm like which one should i do and oh yeah shoes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's like oh shoes and i'm like okay well everyone has different opinions so it really is up to me and like why even i know it was like 50 50 so you're like well i'm the tiebreaker i'll wear the comfier ones i don't know whatever but yeah that's actually a really it's a really good point and yes yeah. like that's some people like that though like some people are literally like please come shopping with me like i don't know what looks good on me but i feel like you and i are both like we know what we find to be flattering on us exactly so at the end of the day maybe it's not flattering but to you it's flattering it's and that's you what you feel important. best in exactly yeah, and that's what you're gonna carry the most confidence in I, th- I think that is something with age that comes though because i think about even in college when i would mold my style to what everybody else was wearing mm-hmm. and uh, clearly i'm doing these videos on tiktok reviewing my outfits they were freaking whack but I yeah I like i was so that's why you have to trust your own 
that actually is the perfect example because I went into college. I don't know if you feel the same way. Oh, yeah. A UGA. My outfits in the beginning of freshman year, I like them. They're pretty good. Like, I was looking at my dresses, everything. I was like, cute girl, like my game day looks. Like, they were not bad. And then as it gets like later and later, I started like ch- trying to mold my style to everybody else's. OTBTs and the yes. And, the shoes and that's when my style got a little whack. And I'm like, I should have just trusted my damn gut and dressed yeah. how I wanted to dress. Like That is so true. Keep that New Yorker in you yeah. in Georgia. I was the opposite. I oh. like, you know me, I'm like a planner. So I'm like, okay, what do the girls wear in Georgia? So I'm yeah. like, I come in hot with all the things. And then as I notice as years go on, I'm like, oh, I like my style way better once I just stopped looking at like what other mm. people were wearing because it's up to you. Yeah. I kind of came around, I guess, like end of college. You too, definitely did. I like your outfits. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. I feel like that's just everything you have to. And you, if you like the trends, go for it, whatever. But I just yeah. remember thinking like, oh, if this is in the window at the boutique in Athens, like, I need it and it's like oh yeah I definitely had that like why no yeah you definitely don't but it's like these are what the girls wearing I need to yeah you're not gonna like if anything I wish someone told me that it would be cooler to not wear what everybody else is wearing like because then people like wait where did you get your dress you know and you're like yeah this this local boutique in my hometown like versus like I know just down the street like where everybody you go to the bar and everyone's wearing a variation of the same dress well yeah that was that was especially tough because Athens like there were only the few stores whereas in New York there definitely are trends and we definitely do the trends I would say Oh, totally but it's like there's just way more now and it's more of a spread out it's not the same five stores Stores. I know mm-hmm. what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Um, okay. Next up, I have bar hopping. And I wrote in quotes, unless I'm in like Nashville. <laughs> yeah. Nashville or like a town so where it's like a lot of bar. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean. I don't know. I just like bar hopping. We were talking about earlier in this episode. I, for example, we should not have switched bars this weekend. Like, but for some reason you feel like, oh, like we've been at this bar for an hour. We have to go to the next bar. Yeah. Why? Because then you might have to pay more cover. You might have to wait in line, which I hate to do. No <laughs> one likes to wait in line, especially in the cold. Yeah. You might not like it there. Then you'll be regretting it and wishing you went. I mean, if you don't like where you are, obviously switch it up, go to a different bar. But like if you're having fun and you're with the people you want, I'm so here for just setting up camp, putting your jackets down on a chair, opening up a tab and just dancing and having fun. I just I hate it, the bar hopping yeah. at all. I, I get it unless I'm, in, I'm unless I'm in the right place. I am here for like a, a true yeah. like okay. You know we got we claimed a table. We are here. You know yeah, and that's different yeah. than like okay. Let's say you go to dinner and then you go to like a cool cocktail place and get drinks and then you go to a bar bar. I think that's different. But I don't know. But then like I'm literally going to Nashville this weekend and I do love going from honky tonk. That's to honky such tonk, a but I think that's different. Bar hopping city. Yeah, yeah like that's fun. There's so. towns where it's more like bar hoppy. I think if they're right next to each other, it's very different. Like those are very in and out. Like yeah, and know, Athens bar yeah. hopping was fun. You're right. Yeah, like oh yeah, everything was right there. It sounds like Hoboken's kind of similar. Yeah. Um, but did, in New York, everything's cover. pretty spread out. Unless you're like going across the street from Kind Regards to P- Piano or whatever that place uh-huh. is called. You know, there's like lines. That. And, uh, the yeah. lines. The lines. Everyone's so mean in lines. Everyone cuts. I mean, yeah. I've I've had I've cut before. I can't lie. Oh, you're over a cutter. protest. Over under protest. Is yeah, that how you say? Yeah. I hate to do it. I don't know about you. I literally, it makes me so nervous. But when all your friends freaking do it, you're like, oh my God, I literally want to die. No, I think uh, I had an experience last summer at the Mirage at where everyone was hopping this fence. They found an opening in the fence and everyone literally like, so we were towards the front and Mm -hmm. everyone was doing it. I stood there. I was like, I'm not like me and Ben stood there. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And then hundreds of people started doing it. And he was like, Brooke, like, yeah, literally everyone's doing it at this point. I was like, but I don't want to like, I know you, know, I was, you don't want to be that person. I didn't want to get in trouble. I was like, knowing my luck, I'll be the last one to do it. They'll pluck yep. me out of line and throw <laughs> me out of here. Like discard Brooke. Yeah. Like, get out of here. Cause I'm not like graceful with that sort of stuff. <laughs> like, no, people are so smooth. Yeah. They just like get to the front of lines and like, they, I'm like, how did you do that? How yeah. does one do that? I get so awkward. I'm like, I get sorry. Mm-hmm. I know. I just have smooth. like, it's just not in my conscience. I was like, I'll wait. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the same way. It, it wasn't even cutting. I think it was like a second line opening or something, but I just like felt like it wasn't, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. No, I agree. Um. Okay. No, I think I just said mine. Did I say, I tell, said dealing with unnecessary opinions. No, I did bar hopping. Oh, and you said bar hopping. So yeah. Well, we're, okay. All right. This is an opinion. So I had an <laughs> sharing a bed with a stranger now i have a little asterisk here because then people are like, hey, whatever like i'm not and this is not in the hookup realm this is not that i mean no. I, uh, it's more so like i go on a group vacation with a bunch of people 
if I'm sharing a bed with someone, like we share a bed on vacation all the time. Like when we go away, usually. Yeah. It's oh, like you a king, and I. Yeah. yeah, you and I, Danielle and I. They so put the gals a, in a room together. Yeah, it's if it's a king vibe. size bed, perfect. Or queen, whatever it is. I'm full. Full. Even. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, full. Like, I know, honestly. We draw the line at twin. Yeah, yeah, no. But, but. we will share. I mean, king, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. If we're going on like a nice vacation. But we we share a bed, no problem. Yeah, we share a bed up. with my mom, mm-hmm. share a bed with my boyfriend. That's pretty much where I draw the line. Yeah. I'm done sharing beds with like random people. I. Unless they're one of my good friends, especially like a stranger. If I was going on a trip, I've done it many times in my life where it's like, all right, like Brooke and like uh, Mary can... will shack up, you know, and I'm like, I don't know, Mary. Like, like I, college yeah. spring break and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Like I'm already rooming with her. So like, can you? And it's like, well, it's a very personal thing. It's so personal. I just feel like I'm and I'm not even going to sit here and be like, I'm too old to share a bed. Because at first I was thinking that I was like, that is not true. No. It's more so I'm too old to intimately share space with people that are because I just think about the way that I used to travel and stuff and it was economical and it was great Mm -hmm. when I like studied abroad and I would do hostels and all that stuff it just don't catch me doing that now you know I'm just and luckily I did it when I was like willing to do all of that yeah but spring chicken (laughs) yeah I was I was just like I literally I mean I put myself in like shared rooms where I didn't even know one person I don't even know how I did that but I did and I didn't even complain I was like oh this is just what the norm is you know but now that I've done that I'm like okay you know I growing out of yeah, it yeah no, I, I would agree definitely. especially if you're spa- paying money yeah it's like okay like i'm paying money to be here i'm paying money to be on a vacation uh, or whatever it may be um and once again not that it's like completely off limits but it's not preferred yeah no yeah not, my bed the bed is a pretty intimate thing i think yeah it's very intimate even though you're not like cuddled like it's not like we're cuddled up but it's like you know no, yeah yeah no, i've been told and i guess like and you know, everyone's different. If people you know? snore, people yeah. hug the covers. Like, there's just, like, things that no. you learn about people. And you need to say that beforehand. Like, if you're a snorer, I need to know. Yeah. Like, I need to know if I need to take melatonin and, like, really dive in, get, do some white noise, you know? You just gotta... Yeah. Yeah. Um, next up, <laughs> I feel like you still do these a little bit. Oh, God. BDM, but all-nighters. I just... Oh, yeah. I, you can't. I, I don't think I'll literally ever do one again unless I'm high on life and I'm yeah. so happy to be alive and I don't ever want to go to bed. I hate an all-nighter. I didn't even like when I was young mm-hmm. at sleepovers. We're going to do an all-nighter. I'd be like, no. no. <laughs> like, I really don't want to do that. Like, what's the fun? Like, no one's up at one eight, at three, four in the morning. Like, why are we doing this? But it was for the vibes. Um, I know it's different for EDM and because like, yeah, the, music, the concerts are late, yeah. but, but then I, it affects my whole next day. Like I'm sitting here thinking <sighs> yeah. about, it. I'm like, all right, then I have to plan my next day and be like, okay, then that day's a wash. You it does suck. sleep till 12. Like you literally yeah, have to. It sucks. So it's not preferred, but it's not like I'm doing it necessarily to like though. go from bar to bar. Like we have yeah. friends that will go out and they're just out all night. Yeah. And I'm like, I'll never say never. Cause like, you know, sometimes the inspiration strikes to have one totally. of those nights and whatever. But for the most part, I would say, if but you can like do it. My body just can't. Yeah. So that's like a me thing. I just yeah. don't do it for, I can't do it. Some people can really push through. Like just give me a Red Bull. And yeah, I, give me a vodka Celsius. And I'll yeah. Going. Yeah. I know. <laughs> keep <laughs> going. No, you can definitely do it. It takes yeah. a certain person. <laughs> And yeah, you, great. Yeah, you either go to bed at 9 p.m. I or know. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Literally. So yeah. I give you props. Um, Thank you. But yeah, I'm Thanks. too old for old ni- all nighters. You're allowed to feel that way. Thank you. Um, okay. I'm too old for late dinners. And I talk late mm. dinner, I mean like 10 p.m. or after. Not like. Yeah. I'm trying to get a reservation at LR Tuesday, LR Tuesday, whatever. It's a yeah. place that, like, you know, I these iconic spots i'm trying to go to i was like t- i told my mom i was like don't worry i'll make us a res like they're all booked until like 10 15 p.m who is eating dinner who's sitting down to eat dinner 10 15 on a tuesday i don't i don't i don't like it because then you like go to bed feeling gross and full and that's I, I like plenty of digestion time and i like to like eat at a i'm hungry like for me i get hungry around like you know 7 p.m i'm like my tummy starts rumbling yeah, like even I'm earlier than that eat. yeah no, I know. So then I, I would have to have like two dinners. I wouldn't plan it right. I I don't think, I think that's very circumstantial. Like I haven't been to too, too many late nights. I think that if it's more of like a apps and drinks later is Totally. Fun, but like a full fledged dinner starting at 10 o'clock or later, that is tough. I can't believe they even have that on the thing. You're so right. Like my friend got a Carbone like notification. She's like, oh my God, guys, I got 11 PM. Like to sit down. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Carbone's not this nightlife place unless there's some area I don't know about. So no, they just are trying to pack more people in so that we got the 11 o'clock seating. Yeah, they're like, we'll just get them in, turn the tables. It's so random. Yeah, no, I hate that too. We did... I'm here for 
like if you're going out before i've realized because i always do like a 7 30 dinner and it, that's just a little too early because then there's this big gap between uh. like going out and stuff so we did 8 30 and that was like perfect i know some people do a nine o'clock dinner there's a place for it but on the weekdays no thanks yeah weekday i i i'm honestly like a, a school night person like i'm like that late on a school night yeah no it's literally a school yeah. night tonight i didn't even tell you i'm getting drinks with someone i'll tell you after at 7 30 and i'm that's like perfect that's for a perfect monday. That's for perfect. a monday i'll be tucked in bed by 10 30 on my school night no i know it's literally <laughs> i love a school night it's like oh yeah. on a school night i know yeah <laughs> so fun Danielle and I are very proud of our website, galsinthegopodcast.com. Have to go plug that. You can access a lot of things from this website, okay? Like, not only is it just like a little bit about us, you know, how to contact us if any businesses or brands want to work with us, how to buy tickets to our live shows when we have them, where to buy our merch. It's just kind of like a place for all things Gals on the Go. And to build it, we're not coders, okay? We're not experts. We used Squarespace. Squarespace is the all in one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. You can stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience and sell anything. So whether that's your products, content you create, or even your time. So they have such amazing features and you can plug in for whatever. Like I said, you do not need to be an expert coder or like maker of websites to do this. Like, trust me, if we could do it, you could do it. And it still looks beautiful. You can connect your social media accounts. So we like display posts from our social profiles on our website. It automatically populates. There are really great analytics that are like amazing insights to help grow our business. So we can know where our site visits are coming from they also have email campaigns which i know it's so big if you're trying to like build a business you know sell anything um the, really the options are truly endless for whatever if you have a presence online at all i i think it's really important to have a website and why not stand out with a beautiful one and it's so easy to make one with squarespace so go to our website and check it out or go to Squarespace and sign up. So go to squarespace.com slash gals for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, use the offer code gals to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, this is squarespace.com slash gals and use that offer code gals. We love you, Squarespace. Um, next, being weird slash uncomfortable talking about periods, women health, etc. I used to like be like grabbing a tampon, hiding it. And I still, I mean, if I'm like in the Delta lounge, like I'm gonna like put it in yeah. my pocket but men just need to get over it they need to know about women's health like I'm gonna talk about my period I'm gonna talk about all these things obviously not be like out landish about it but yeah. like <laughs> I feel like talking about like I don't know last night when we were out like one of my friends had a UTI and it's like oh you feel like no it's like oh sorry about your UTI like you know yeah. like just being more comfortable about talking about it. not even in front of men just like women too I think a lot of women are really easy to talk about but there's still some stuff I feel like we keep to ourselves and you learn a lot when you talk mm -hmm. to your friends and like, oh, like that's normal for you too. Like honestly never knew that. Like I thought it was just me, like mm -hmm. physical stuff, internal stuff, you know, whatever. So like no need to be uncomfortable about it. Just like yeah. ask those questions. Yeah. I'm here for being like talking about intimate stuff with your friends. Like I don't think that it needs to be super yeah. like weird. Not that it has to be like, let me tell you about the poop I did today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. But like there's a time and a place and yeah. I know I get it especially I tell you, if you're concerned yeah, if I'm like oh I'm blowed like I don't like I feel like we talk about those things intimately yeah. and some yeah it's not necessarily it's like oh well got my period that makes sense you know yeah exactly no it completely and even with guys too like sometimes I would like hide it from not hide my period from Ryan but I would just be like oh like whatever I'm just moody today you know but like kind of just being honest and being yeah like you know I'm just it's that time of the month this weekend I'm just not feeling great or whatever it may be like I'll even say it to my dad, but my dad's a doctor, so he, like, literally will talk about periods forever. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, yeah. Is it? He says something interesting, like, a doctor word for it. Maybe Ben knows Menstruating? That. Yeah, he'll, yeah, maybe menstruating, or I don't know. He says something, and I'm like, <laughs> that's so, like, a doctor thing. Or, like, about poop, he'll say, did you do a BM? Bowel um, movement. Brooke, Brooke Mitchell! Mitchell! <laughs> <laughs> that's why I never do BM on stuff, I know. <laughs> did you know that? Yeah. That's why, like, when, like. You have said this before, I'm yeah. just realizing. I know my initials are great BTM for you yeah but that's like bottom I feel like that's like I don't bottom no like I feel like it's abbreviated for the yeah BTM is fine there's worse initials out there like some people have yeah. seen like ass oh, <laughs> like, gag yeah. ass P. is pretty bad P. <laughs> I need three letter words oh my god lol toy <laughs> why is toy so funny? like if you had toy on an airpods case I would think like it's toy I wouldn't think it's your initials yeah <laughs> Things you have to think about. There's so many freaking things to think about. Yeah, no, it's fine. That's not the worst thing. No, it's but fine. that's just like yeah. silly. Yeah. No, I get that. That's a good one. I think you should be able to be open about that stuff. And if someone has, especially if they're like your friends, like I don't think I necessarily would go up to a stranger and be like, yo, 
UTI, like, you know, like. <laughs> you mean about a UTI? Or, like, oh, I thought you meant as the initials. Of no, no, no. Yes, my initials. A UTI or mine? Oh, you mean like. <laughs> no, like, but then again, but then again, we share. You would have um, say to your waiter, sorry, I keep going to the bathroom. I have a yeah, UTI. Yeah, yeah no. Like, if I'm, or making small talk, like, like, oh, by the way, gotta pee. UTI. Like, you know, like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, however, if I was with you, I'd be like, you die. Uh, of course. But yeah, with yeah. like random people, they don't need to know. We're like, diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> lot BM. Of coffee. <laughs> BM. <laughs> a lot of having problems. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, oh, good laugh. Yes. You kind of said this, but being pressured to saying yes into things. Like if I say yes, I want it to be on my own terms. If it's doing something, if it's going somewhere, I hate the feeling of like, you're not going to so-and-so's birthday party like you're really not gonna go fuck you you're gonna fucking shame me into that shit she's not my friend like i don't want to go no not you i'm saying like it i don't like when people make me feel bad about something you know and no and i guess sometimes you know like not saying that i'm always right or i think that there's certain times but there's a different way around it than being shamed into feeling it like yeah like oh like that's interesting like oh why aren't you going like i was just curious rather than being like you suck you yeah, are a like, loser you're not that's gonna so go to mean. that really like yeah, i don't know like, damn or like you're not gonna do this thing or you're not gonna whatever it may be yeah it, plug it in with whatever i like, let me do I'm not what i want to accept the shame from no. someone about it no. so no can no do. can do yeah and uh, you know maybe i don't want to go to Janie's birthday party i met her once you know yeah. like <laughs> i sorry like no yeah and i feel like I always forget too. like sometimes people just invite you as a, out of courtesy and it's totally not like and I, I probably maybe I'll invite them back like then because they invited me and then yeah. it's a big circle. We're just but like you don't have to come. I don't have to come, but we'll just both invite each other. So, you know, yeah, we're on good terms. Yeah. No, that's something I've re- re- realized, too. It's like mm-hmm. I don't need to yeah. go to that. They were just being nice. Like, yeah. And you don't need to go to like I think I'm realizing that like even with my own birthday party, you know, n- this wasn't even about birthday party. like, yeah, you know, the, there were some people who didn't come. They didn't give me any explanation, no reasoning. But like that's fine you yeah, know like, i you guess we'll need, normalize it yeah sure. you don't have to like don't worry about it yeah. what if they had a bm that night <laughs> yeah i had a bm they had a <laughs> uti <laughs> initial exactly yeah they're gonna text me sorry i couldn't come in uti like, yeah <laughs> like i don't know yeah, yeah it's so true it's like i don't need to know that um i am too old to not wear sunscreen mm. i know you agree with this too like yep. i'm just realizing how important it is and i'm seeing some people's skin like <laughs> that are no that are good oh. like glow with ava she always talks about yeah. she's like i've literally worn sunscreen every day or glow by ava i love all of her skin tips and i'm like she's the reason i need to wear sunscreen because her skin is just yep stunning i know and it's just and not even just on your face honestly like i guess i actually more so mean when you're out on the boat or at the beach or at the pool and it's like i don't need sunscreen like i want to get a tan i'm not gonna put on sunscreen fuck that yeah. you're just gonna get yeah. a burn you're gonna start peeling like boys especially always yeah. do this like i don't need sunscreen and then they're red as a lobster later and it's gross and it starts peeling and it's just then they're complaining about it and they're, it hurts them in their shower and it's like yeah you didn't wear sunscreen i offered to put it on your back twice like that's not my problem anymore i get that because it's a personal thing with my brother no <laughs> no i completely get that uh i and also for like protecting your skin's health too like it's yeah. just so important like skin cancer is so real don't go to the tanning beds. Yeah, no. Too old to go. I've never did. I'm I know. I never did because I know I would like it. <laughs> I know. I mean, imagine like being able to work out and you don't sweat off a spray tan. You're just tan from the tanning bed. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not influencing. I do not. My mom has had skin yeah. cancer. Like it's not my yeah, vibe. It's scary. But I know I'd like it if I went. So I will not do it. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I'm too old to be shamed for how I spend my money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wow this is like a lot of bitching and moaning on this no podcast, well this is like it's supposed to be like, i was saying that point. too but yeah. that is what this is yeah so unfortunately yeah. and it's like everything's worded in negative context just so you know but like we could it's because it's like i'm too old to be shamed for this like versus like yeah you guys know yeah, 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 yeah like i guess you could uh, whatever um yeah i unless you're my accountant my financial advisor or maybe my parents i don't want to hear it you know yeah. like those are the people who can tell me how i'm spending adequately no one knows the full story you know we're pretty transparent but no one will ever know like the full story of our life and you know if i want to go on a vacation or buy a purse or whatever and like you know people are like 
that purse but no house like i'm like why the fuck does it like, matter like i love you know city. i wanted to live in an apartment like yeah there's so many things behind it like you obviously look at your finances and you're you have a head on your shoulders yeah you know what you want yeah. no i know people love to say things they yeah do. yeah and so like, let me spend my money you like to spend your money on yes. watches i like to spend my money on purses like everyone's got yeah. their thing everyone's got their thing even if it's beer like people you everyone. are so right or like nice dinners like some people are, or experiences like you know some people are more travel people and mm-hmm. they're like i will stay at a five-star luxury vacation but like i will literally never buy you know a piece of clothing that's over 50 dollars. you know everyone has their yeah, stuff make it make sense but to them it yes makes sense, you know like i have friends they gotta stop spending money on nicotine you know yeah and like that's their thing so everyone's got their thing no. that they like to spend money on so no one can judge everyone's got that one category on their credit card bill that it's like got a little bit more you know yeah yeah so yeah and i just think that it's it's not your business to investigate that unless like it's your partner and like you're sharing finances or if yep. it's like i don't know like i feel like i would never question danielle and like how she's spending her money and be like no you know like it's not my business frankly even though we have a business together like we're not if it's no. your personal money like you can do whatever the hell you want with it oh you know? i've been using the gals in the go card <laughs> <laughs> there is no gals in the there go-card. is no one <laughs> um i'm too not that i do this really yeah. but starting drama like drama is i i feel like you're the same way like yeah. my friends like we didn't really have a lot of drama but when i hear about my other friends and I stuff know. that went on in college or n- currently our age currently i'm like thank god yeah because that is something i am definitely too old for like no let's just be real with each other and there's definitely times i get you know a little hurt and i'm maybe i won't say it to that person or whatever but for the most part like starting drama is so lame like oh did you hear this girl said about you this that that, yeah i know it's ridiculous we are 24 25 years old no yeah yeah i'm not gonna say that i'm above gossip because i'm oh i didn't say that no (laughs) I said drama. No, I know. But I'm not going to be the one to stir the pot and like start a rumor or something. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I I take some screenshots here and there. I mean, yeah, of course. No one's perfect. Yes. But more so like stirring the pot. Yeah. And you're not going to like pick a fight for no reason or whatever. Like you're, you know what I hate? You don't do this. I was like, do you do this? No, you don't do this. (laughs) I really hate this. And I know that's like the person looking out for you. If you are a person that will tell me what someone said about me, fuck yeah. you. I do not need to hear it. They said about, there have been a few times where it was someone that was really close to me and I was like, oh, okay, they're off. Like, thank you for telling me that. That really hurt. Just unsolicited, you mean, too? Like, if yeah, they're just like, like, oh, I was oh. with the other day and she said this about you. And I was like, Pfft. yeah, I don't like that. It's honest mm. and it's upfront, but you're a very honest person, but you're not going to like, I don't know, like, no Unless one talks shit needed. about you to me, so. Yeah, same. I think that they're, people, smart. they're smarter than they're that. They're smarter than that. That's also true, but I feel like. I don't know. Like, I think if it's needed, like, okay, if my boyfriend's going around, say, I need to know. Yes. And like, if Delaney's going around saying shit about me, yes, I need to know. But like, if it's someone that I've only met a few times, and even one of our friends told us the other day, she was like, oh, this girl told me that this person said about me. And it's like, why are you stirring the yeah. pot? Like, you're getting ready together. It's like, oh, by the way, Chelsea said that you suck the other day. I was like, what? Like, okay, just well, now like my that. mood's ruined. Yeah, like, now my thanks. mood's ruined. Yeah, I'm going to see her tonight. Yeah, like, now I'm think- and now every time I see her for the rest of my life, I'll be thinking about that. You yeah, know? I just, I will never understand that. Like, that's pot stirring at its finest yeah. pot. Yeah, unless you ask. I think unless you're unless inquiring, you like, does Chelsea like me? Like, she kind of gives me weird vibes sometimes. And then they're like, oh, she mentioned this one thing. Like, that you're asking yeah, for, you, you know? Yeah, you opened the floodgates. Yeah. But if I'm having a lovely brunch yeah, and, just- and you were like, yeah, actually, she kind of said, like, you don't really talked to her ever whatever i don't know i'm trying to think of an example of what yeah, someone said to me yeah and it's just oh one of my friends had said oh danielle's like so fake on social media and it's like are you kidding me like are you kidding me like you know me so well and my friend was like i literally know like she was just like saying shit to say yeah. shit i'm like thanks yeah. for telling me that because she's clearly not around me because she obviously knows me like yep. i am that that yeah. I actually was happy to know, but at the same time, I was like, "That's just that's just my someone day. who really doesn't know you, and they're just jumping to conclude." Like, yeah, I was like, like you "What's don't something know that me. I can say about Danielle?" Like, uh, you know, grab uh, yeah, and grab. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, that's so out of pocket, and that doesn't really happen a lot yeah. in my life. I feel like you either, but when those happen, I just hate. Yeah, that. I haven't had that happen in a minute, probably because I'm not inquiring. No, this happened, like, in college. this yeah. happened in college. This oh, happened okay. in senior year of college, and I was like, "Bitch, what?" Yeah, yeah. I do not go inquiring and I feel like my friends are pretty good about like, you know, keeping it like, yeah, I do not want you know, to know what people are saying. Yeah. About me. And if you complain about what, you know, it, ha- I'm not going to pretend I'm a saint. Like if I tell someone like, Oh my God, like, you know, she got so drunk talking about someone else. Like she got so drunk the last weekend. I, w- I wouldn't want that repeated back to her. That's just what I told you in confidence. Yeah, I'm just you know? letting you know the situation. You asked how last week was. Yeah, this happened. Yeah, no, 
that's something that someone would say. They'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah, she said you were so drunk. Like, I don't need to know that she said yeah. that. Like, I was drunk I know. Like, and okay, I know so that. Now I'm thinking about everything yeah. I did last weekend. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> also too old for whatever that is that we're talking about. I know. Start, I know. This, this is, is just way drama. too much. Like, I know. Danielle and I, honestly, I will say, I pat you on the back. Because we're both, <laughs> we're both very good about not being involved in drama. I would say, like yeah, I know, we really, like none of us f- have fights or no. falling outs with friends. Really, not to say that we're perfect, but like we don't really do that. No, I get really concerned when I meet someone and they're like having all these issues with people. I'm like, yeah, why is it all coming back to you? Like, not to judge, but it's just a little scary because I feel like yeah. it can be avoided. Yeah, you know, like yeah. yeah, we all have our shit, but like, of course, or they'll be like, oh well, that was my last friendship breakup, like last week, and I was like, oh, you had like, one last you have week, a new best damn, this yeah, week. like I'm a little <laughs> nervous. Yeah, you're allowed to have them, of course. I'm just saying that we are just not. Yeah, yeah, but we're all we're very lucky. We have good people. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Um, I'm too old to receive <laughs> whatever, receive, give anything, backhanded compliments. I am so over these. I just, yeah. There's nothing to be said about it, really. It's just, I, I just am really, I've, I, I'm you over like it. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you have nothing, like, if you have to say something with the s- addition of something else as, like, a, you know, like, like, I know, I'm trying to think of an example. Um, like, uh, like, oh, your outfit's actually good today. Yes. Like, oh, was it bad yesterday? Like, can you just say, I love your outfit? Like, exactly. Exactly. Like, this, Brooke, you're you're looking really good this year. I'm like, so in previous years, was I not looking like I don't I know, know how to I know, say it I like know. or like you know, uh, that, it could be that one could be flexible. I guess I know that one's tough because no, also no, it's no. like, oh, I'm working out. Like I am trying to look. Yeah, good. no, I'm trying to think of what it is, but I just think life is too short, and I try to be very cautious with my compliments that I give to other people too. Like you know, I'm trying to learn actually a lot of like trying to be like you know you're glowing or like you like you seem really happy like those sort of compliments versus like you look skinny like you know like yeah. because i think that i'm just trying to learn to be more cautious with my words too so i'm working on it but yeah i don't think i would ever tell someone like oh my god like you wow like nice purse like i actually like that one you know like something like yeah that. it's usually yeah. compared to something else like, uh-huh. you look good this year it's like yes. oh, last year rather than you look good like oh thanks i feel good exactly i yeah. i agree my brother said that to me he was like you look really good these days and i was like these <laughs> days i know and he probably means it as a oh for sure genuine, but like, like just kind of yeah. over it i know you're like you had to add that part yeah i know <laughs> calling my brother little off, phrase yeah, yeah it's like i you know they're trying to be nice but also like oh like yeah damn. so i didn't look good on christmas like you know like you <laughs> think about it and you're like shit but like true i get it um my last one is not being happy for your friends because we're all in different places in life like it's so important to remember this like we all have different careers different think paths everything some of our friends are literally getting married and sometimes it's like oh that sounds so nice to just like go to suburbs get a dog and like live with my boyfriend but then i know i'm on the path that i am and same honestly for like our friends like i feel like sometimes our friends will be like oh like i'm going to work like you get to do this all day and i'm like we're literally doing such different things you would never want to mm-hmm. be a content creator like you know you love what you do and they're like you're so right but like yeah. it's so easy to compare yourself and be like well this person's already making this x amount of money but like they're doing a completely thing different thing than you you mm-hmm. love what you do you don't want to be doing what that person's mm-hmm. doing you love the city you're in whatever it may be like everyone has such different lives like it's so not needed to be like at 21 i do this 22 mm-hmm. i do this. it's just not like that i feel the same way yeah especially dealing with friends that are like really in all different phases of life now i'm yeah. like well this is just support each other in whatever yeah. you're doing and it doesn't mean like th- that's n- none of these are the definition of success you know everyone no. has, yeah it's all so different and so unique and I don't know. I just think it's really important to be happy for your friends and like in what they're doing and respect. You know, one of my friends is in law school. I'm like, that is so freaking cool. Yeah. Your crush, she lives in Charleston. She's having so much fun. And there's a part of me that's like, oh, I miss college. You know, stuff like yeah. that. I mean, I know law school is not just college, but it's so important to remember like you're on your path and you can change it a little bit what you need to do. But then you didn't want that person's life. Like mm-hmm. that's their life. So yeah. be happy for them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that. Uh, my last one i will say is i'm too old to not take my vitamins <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm i i've been through phases you know where i'm like really consistent and then i stop altogether i've even i'm like deficient in vitamin d and i've like had mm-hmm. my doctor tell me like you know i am like i take like a excel dose of vitamin d like once a hey. week or whatever and then i take all the vitamins too but i'm realizing not to be vain but i'll be vain because i used to think of vitamins as like uh you know 
keep your body functioning. And when you're young, like, it's just, like, not important to you. Like, you're like, okay, like, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. I, you know, so what? So my organs work better? Okay. Like, you know, next. Yep. But as I get older, I'm realizing they help you just f- look better, feel better, all of those things, too. Like, if, if I want to be vain, like, I do feel like when I'm taking my vitamins, you know, my skin glows more. When yeah. I take my vitamins, I am able to you know work out like and feel you know like i'm less sore for i don't know like whatever just and just because your body's just yeah working better just knowing it's in your body i'm the same way like when we're younger it's like oh i take this capsule maybe it'll work whatever yeah. but i think it's so crazy there's so much going on inside of our body and our body's like yay when you put those vitamins mm-hmm. in there that's a really good point. yeah yeah and I used to see it as like, I mean, it still is freaking annoying. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, no. I don't like, do you mind taking pills? No, I love, I love my supplements in the morning. I have like a whole, have you ever seen my medicine? Yeah, thing? I've seen it. But I, I was just wondering if you're like, oh, I like, got to take these or if you're like, you really don't mind. No, I just, no, I don't mind. Can you take a bunch at once? You don't like really, really big ones though. You said, did I say that? Um, I don't love them, but I'll, I can, oh, my okay. dad taught me this whole, like you T- tuck your chin down and you swallow at the same time it blocks one of the things so it can't go down your air hole so you don't choke fun oh fact gosh. yeah whoa <laughs> yeah um ever since you showed me that i'm like oh I'm yeah. full. do you eat first or do you take them on an episode? yeah I have okay to eat breakfast. yeah no i usually eat yeah that's why i take them like in the afternoon usually not yeah the but i i used to hate doing it because i would take it out of each bottle and like do this whole thing but now at the beginning of the week i put it in an organizer and so then it's just boop yeah you know yeah do you um, like have the different bottles uh, i don't have yeah. two uh, it's not like i'm taking like a million it's no, really it's pretty but i do know i feel like but that's like the worst part is like yeah or like i hate having to fill up my supplements for the week i'm like oh i haven't done yeah. it this week yet like this that week. reminds me of like my grandmother i remember her pill organizer yeah like, totally <laughs> totally it's giving that energy channeling in her grandma <laughs> I feel like I've tried the pill organizer and I just was like bad about refilling it. So I was like, you know, I'm just kidding. But yeah. the, but I'm very much so out of sight, out of mind. Like I keep my daily medications that I take like right over there. Like my, you know, and it's just always on my counter because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Yeah. Which is no, bad. You have to put it there. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So take your vitamins. Uh, Wear don't, sunscreen. Yeah. And trust your gut and your own opinions. Because yeah. Because that's. Don't star drama. Don't stir the pot just for entertainment. Yeah, Go watch yeah. some reality TV. And oh, you'll yeah. be fine. How, you never watch Vanderpump Rules, did you? No, but I'm yeah. s- I'm seeing things. Things I are, could give you like he cheated down. on her. Yeah, and they were married. with someone else on the show. They were like partners, like you know they lived together for like, a while. Yeah, like I think they owned a house together, but they weren't married. Like they were, yeah, but like for years. And he's been cheating on her with another girl from the show. Yeah, for like months, like a really long time. Oh, that su- sucks. Yeah, I feel bad for her. And it like all came out and whatever. Is that the one? A lot of girls tell me. Yes, it is. the one. Yes, it's one that people say you look like. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, yeah. My my kin. (laughs) No, she's everybody rides for Team Ariana right now. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. I used to watch in the early days. So like I know all the cast. So I'm like, oh, like I. I, Yeah. I don't know the plot line now, but like I know the cast members like enough to be like, oh, wow, this is happening. And I'm I'm on that side of TikTok now. I bet. And Haley Selena, of course. But yeah. Yeah. I need to shake it up. I need to like, you know, talk about like books or something like we need to. Oh, on the on your for you. page. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's yeah. like a lot of like, you know, it's like new information came out about the Ariana Tom cheating scandal. I'm like, OK, oh, I, yeah. I got to get can't. past this. It's too can't. much. Yeah. No, I just want funny. I'm on like baby TikTok, which sounds really weird. But like I'm on TikTok where it's like babies smelling candles, babies running with the phone. Have oh. you seen the baby with the running the phone? No. It's like you give your give a piggy a pancake you do you remember that children's book yeah yeah it's like you give your kid like the phone with like the backwards camera or the front and they just start running with it and it's like seeing the baby's face while they're running oh that's funny it's so cute that's very cute so i don't know i don't know why i'm on baby talk i don't want a baby at the moment you liked one probably like that's what happens yeah Mm -hmm. i think i liked one too i liked one that was like i love ariana and now i'm like yeah it's it really (laughs) says okay here you go brooke (laughs) you want every piece of information that could possibly come out about this like (laughs) thank you thank you uh, well, it's been a fabulous episode. I've really enjoyed talking with you yes, today, Brooke. Thank you, you for your time. Thank you for your time. Thank um, you, Ten. Thank you guys for your time. Um, what other announcements do we have? Oh, we sold out of that the merch like really quick, the tour merch. Yes, uh, so yes. Thank you guys. Um, that it will be shipping soon if it didn't already. Yeah, um, we have some things in the works, but nothing ready to announce with merch stuff. And, yeah, uh, and business things. Oh, we have some. Follow us on YouTube too, if you have, if you don't, and Instagram because we have some. Some business things that are coming out in the next few weeks, maybe. 
Oh yes, I was like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "Oh yeah, a collaboration." Exciting, that we're yes. About. Actually, we do have a lot of things in the works right now. We have now. a lot like in the pipeline, but it's we just have, not ready to all announce. We have a fun guest in a couple weeks, and we have other guest ideas that we have that we have to reach out to them throughout the year. Yeah. Um. So stay on the lookout, but keep being a gal on the go, keep killing it out in the world. Hopefully, we got you through your morning commute or a walk or cleaning your room. Yeah. Share this episode with a friend if you're like, I'm too old for you know. Get the convo going with your friends. Yeah. Where are like, you what too are you old guys? for? Yeah. yeah. I brought it up at dinner the other night and it was so entertaining to see what other people had to say. So, Oh, it's a good dinner topic. Good that dinner topic. Good. Love a table topic. Yeah. Honestly, it's always needed when it yeah. gets a little dry. No small talk allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get deep. Uh, tag at gals in the go podcast. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, rate five stars. I'm just saying everything. Cause please, you know, like, no, please load it up, do it all. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Brooke Mitchell, yes. Danielle and Carol, we post two vlogs a week. So yeah. no I mean, shortage of content. Did I, tell, no. I think I might've said it. That my mom listens to every podcast and she was like, I'm, I'm all up to date. Like anything oh, else. Yeah, and I, know. I was it's like, like, I mean, I post two videos a week too. She's like, oh, I guess I should start. My walk. mom only listens to the podcast. Same. I'm like, there's so much in the videos. I know. But they just want, they want to listen. I mean, can't, sorry, we're so good. I know. We, we just have to. She, she's always like, I just love your banter with Brooke. I'm I like, know. I know. I know. Yeah, she's in you. the video sometimes. That's what I said. <laughs> she um, makes a guest appearance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we love you guys and we'll chat soon. Bye. Bye.